Crenshaw Castle. What up y'all, this be Crenshaw Castle. For this episode we be looking at the film, Poltergeist, which dropped in 1982. Steve and Diane Freeling live in Cuesta Verde, a California planned community. Steve be a successful property developer, and Diane looks after the three kids, 16-year-old Dana, 8-year-old Robbie, and 5-year-old Carol Ann. Late one night, Carol and inexplicably converse with the family television set whilst it display post-broadcast static or whatever. The next night, she again fixate on the TV, and a ghostly white hand emerge from the screen, followed by a violent earthquake. As the family wake up from the quake, Carol and Eerily declare they hear it was something. Bizarre event occur the following day, a glass of milk spontaneously break, silverware bends, and furniture move on its own. These phenomena in the beginning seem benign, but soon grow more sinister. During a severe thunderstorm, the gnarled backyard tree seemingly come alive. A large limb crashed through the kid bedroom window and grabs Robbie and try to devour him. Whilst the family rush outside to rescue Robbie, Carol and be sucked into a portal inside the closet I think. After saving Robbie from the tree that got sucked into a tornado, the family frantically search for Carol and only for she voice to call out from the TV. Parapsychologist Dr. Martha Lesh get there with two teen people to investigate. They determine there be a poltergeist intrusion involving multiple ghosts. Meanwhile, Steve learned from me boss, Mr. Teague, that the Cuesta Verde development was built on this former cemetery and the grave were moved to a nearby spot. Dana and Rob Yeah, anyways. We don't want to ruin the end. By the Blu-ray release of this flick if you feeling real real good. And check out the next episode of Crenshaw Castle, uploaded real soon. Stay lifted. See you next time. Bye.